Hi everyone, this is Professor Mayunga and you are watching Uda Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, today I'm going to show finite element analysis of an overhanging beam and a uniformly distributed loading. Let us see the statement of the problem. An overhanging beam, AVC, is loaded as shown in figure. Draw the SFD and BMD and also point of contact flexor if any of the beam using ANSYS mechanical epidural and compare the results. The thing is, we are having one overhanging beam of span 4 meter and it is supported at the left hand side and from free end. Another support is there at a distance of 1 meter and it is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of 4.5 kN per meter. We need to find out shear force and bending moment diagram of this one and also we need to find out the point of contact flexor that is where the bending moment is changing the sign that location to be find out. We need to find out the position of P and that to be compared with the theoretical results right okay so without wasting time let us start our analysis using ANSYS mechanical epidural okay first of all we need to change the directory and in that directory we need to save everything next to that we can change the title of this one from here change title and we are keeping the name of this one as FA8 okay to see the title plot replot it will show the title at the lower left corner right now we need to select what type of analysis it is right and it will come from preferences so preferences structural analysis okay next to that we need to provide elemental properties and that will come from preprocessor so preprocessor element type add edit delete we need to add it we are considering beam with 3d finest strain and element type reference number is one okay and from options we can select element behavior as QV form okay done let us close it now we need to provide material properties as I told before it is having modulus of elasticity of 2 into 10 to the 11 Newton per meter square and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 right so material models structural linear Elastic and isotopic, and we are providing modulus of elasticity as 2e11 and Poisson's ratio 0.3. Okay, let us close it. Next sections, and it is a square cross section of depth equal to 0.01 meter and breadth is also 0.01 meter. So, beam common sections breadth is equal to 0.01 meter and height is also 0.01 meter okay done now we need to start modeling right and let us see the question paper for modeling it is an overhanging beam of total span 4 meter first node or key point will be at origin the second one will be at a distance of 3 meter from left hand side and the third one will be at a distance of 4 meter from left hand side right so modeling create better to model with key points in active coordinate system first node will be created at origin so apply second one will be at a distance of three meter from origin three apply third one will be at a distance of four meter from origin so four apply now for providing orientation of the beam we can create a key point at a distance of x equal to zero and y equal to minus two okay we have created required key points now the upper key points should be joined in the form of a line so lines it will be straight lines and let us join key point one and two then key point two and three okay now we need to start our meshing right so meshing mesh attributes and we need to consider the extra key point four as a reference for orientation key point so we are selecting all lines and we need to pick the orientation key point also okay let us select key point four done now for meshing we need to select size controls manual size lines all lines and we are considering number of elemental divisions for each line equal to 10 okay done now finally we need to mesh it mesh lines pick all meshing is complete next to that we need to apply boundary conditions and that will come from loads loads analysis type new analysis it is a static structural analysis okay now we need to define loads right define loads apply structural displacement on key points let us see the drawing again accordingly we can apply our boundary conditions right 
first support will be created at the left hand side at origin and the second one will be at a distance of 3 meter from left hand side right so lines to see the actual locations first support will be at origin let us select key point 1 apply and it will be restricted to move along x y z and its rotation is also restricted along x and y it is only allowed to rotate along z apply and then the second key point here at this location selected okay again it will be allowed to translate along x and rotation along z is allowed it is restricted to translate along y and z and this rotation is also restricted along x and y right that is it can translate along x and rotate along z okay done let us see the load from the question paper itself we need to apply a uniformly distributed load of 4.5 kN per meter throughout the whole span right so structural pressure on beams we can select by box we need to select all the span of the beam selected okay now pressure value will be ranging from 4500 newton so it will be minus as it is in the downward direction minus 4500 newton per meter to again the next node also it will be same value minus four five zero zero newton per meter done we applied the all required boundary conditions now we need to solve it so solution solve parentheles if everything is right it will show solution is done okay it is showing solution is done so everything is perfect we can see our results from general post processing right let us close it general post processing and first of all we will read results from last set and we need to plot elemental table so element table define table we need to add it and as we know from the beginning itself for shear force and bending moment diagram we need to define on specific numbers for bending moment from drop down menu we need to select by sequence number and smsc it will be 2 this is for bending moment apply next one again by sequence number and smsc 15 apply again repeat the process by sequence number smsc 5 apply and the last one by sequence number smisc 18 okay so the first two numbers smis 2 and 15 will represent bending moment diagram and smis 5 and 18 will represent shear force diagram okay let us close it first of all we'll see our results from listing so list results and we want to see reaction solution for all items you can see reaction in the y direction at node number one is 6000 newton and at node number two along y direction it is 12000 newton let us see the question paper also for validating this one so you can see left hand side at node number one or key point one it is six kilo newton or 6000 newton and at key point two at question b it is 12000 newton or 12 kilo newton okay so it is exactly same right now we want to see the same thing in the form of listing that we want to see shear force and bending moment together from listing right so element table data and we can select all the numbers like sms2 and 15 for bending moment and sms5 and 18 for shear force okay this is the values of shear force and bending moment for all the specific nodes here in this case left hand side first column and second column representing bending moment represented by sms2 and sms15 and the third and fourth columns represented by sms5 and sms18 are representing shear force we are having total 20 nodes and for each node we can see shear force and bending moment right and it is visible that maximum bending moment occurs at node number 5 it is 3960 newton meter or 3.96 kilo newton meter and minimum is occurring at node number 11 it is minus 2250 newton meter or minus 2.25 kilo newton meter similarly maximum shear force is occurring at node number one it is 6000 newton or 6 kilo newton and minimum is occurring at node number 10 it is minus 7500 newton or minus 7.5 kilo newton right this is very important results we can save it right but we are not saving this one let us close it next to that we want to plot our results right so plot results can to plot line elemental response and we want to see bending moment diagram so it will be sms2 and sms15 
okay you can see here maximum bending moment is occurring within this span indicated by red color so it is 3960 newton meter or 3.96 kilo newton meter and the minimum bending moment is occurring at this location represented by blue color it is minus 2250 newton meter or minus 2.25 kilo newton meter let us see the question paper for comparison it is also showing that maximum bending moment is 4 kN meter and minimum is 2.25 kN meter but in ANSYS mechanical epidural it is representing little less compared to that one it is showing maximum bending moment is 3.96 kN meter it is little bit varied compared to the actual one and the minimum one is exactly same minimum is 2.25 kN meter it is exactly same right uh, next to that you want to see shear force so line elemental response and we can change the numbers sms2 to sms5 and sms15 to sms18 so the new numbers are sms5 and 18 let us see that it is showing that maximum shear force is 6000 newton or 6 kN indicated by red color and originated from key point number one and minimum shear force is represented by blue color at this location and it is minus 7500 newton or minus 7.5 kN let us see our results from question paper for comparison it is also showing the same thing maximum shear force is 6 kN and minimum is actually 7.5 kN right so it is represented exactly same what we got in our ANSYS mechanical epidural right this value is equal to 4.5 kN and here also you can see this value is 4.5 kN now one thing point of contact flexor that to be shown also so we can go back to bending moment again to show the point of contact flexor right so sms2 and sms15 this is the bending moment diagram so bending moment actually is changing at this location this is the point of control flexor that a specific node number to be shown right so what we'll do is plot controls numbering you can make node numbers on okay you can bring this one a little bit down you see it is very close to 11 node number but it is not exactly 11 so point of control flexor is occurring very close to node number 11 right and if you want to have more accuracy in that case we need to define the beam with finite elements with more numbers of elements in that case the element will be passing through the specific location and we can find out the point of contour flexor in a better way right but from this drawing it is clearly understood that point of contour flexor is occurring near node number 11 it is not exactly at node number 11 because you can see it is not exactly at 11 okay right now here is a very important thing that means this is the beauty of finite element analysis in finite element analysis it is already understood that better the mesh better is the results so in this case if you want to have perfect results we can go for better meshing and if we change the mesh result will also change that means the point of contour flexor will also vary and when the result will not vary you can say that our convergence criteria will be achieved right but we are not going for further meshing because we know that it is approximately near node number 11 at this location right okay fine next to that we want to see the animation of this one before that we need to see the 3d object or 3d beam so plot elements and from plot controls style size and shape and display of elements should be on okay done this is the beam for better view we can have an oblique view of this one you can see this is the beam with specific cross section of 0 0.01 meter by 0 0.01 meter right now we want to see the animation of this beam so plot controls animate and you want to see deformed results and with default setting we want to see translation along y okay and to see the deformation or animation in a better way let us make that delay period as small so this way the beam will be vibrating okay let us close this one so this is all about our today's video this was a very simple analysis of an overhanging beam under uniformly distributed load right and in this analysis we found the shear force and bending moment diagram and that was compared with the theoretical results and we found exactly equal solutions so it was validated by your ANSYS mechanical epidural okay so with this one we'll conclude our today's video thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye